beauty fam in today's video i will be testing and reviewing the new clay de Peau beauty radiant cream foundation this is the new reformulation that is currently only available i believe in asia and europe and i picked this up at harrods so i do have the older version which is the one that's available in the united states and i'll be comparing my new favorites with some older favorites and it's, it's been a past couple of six months of new foundations so i'll be mentioning those as well and doing some swatches so if you're interested then keep watching so let's begin i will be starting off this get ready with me and try on with a wear test of the new clay de Peau radiant cream foundation now earlier this year i picked up the old formula in 040 or oak or 40 and this one is actually not available yet in the united states it's available in asia and the uk and what I had researched is that the formula, perhaps even in Asia, is a little bit different depending on the regulatory rules of what can be in these uh, formulas for makeup. So I was only able to get this new reformulated Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation in the UK. And I ended up picking it up at Harrah's because they had a sale recently. So. I went ahead and took advantage of that sale. It was a 20% off sale because otherwise this is a pretty spendy foundation. So I will put the regular price down below and then what I ended up getting this uh, for sale. So compared to the old one, it's actually the same fluid ounces. They're both 21 milliliters and they're both 0.8, actually 0.88 or 0.88 ounces. So this is slightly less and this is like 0.01 ounces more. And I had a uh, someone who was watching this video kindly tell me and very nicely tell me that um, I think you have the old formula. So thank you if you're watching again, um, you know who you are and they could tell by the bottle. So this is the old formulation and it, it's really hard to tell online and they don't say this is the newly reformulated version or the bottle. It's so hard to tell online. Thank you for that person who watched my review, my old Clay de Peau, my older Clay de Peau Radiant, uh, Radiant Cream Foundation review, and they were able to tell by the packaging alone. Older formulation, and here is the newer one. So very apparent of uh, different packaging, and that's how they could tell. And that was the only way I could tell when I was purchasing it after it was flagged to me. So both of these are have SPF. This has SPF 24, and this has SPF 24, 25 plus. PA++5. I'll link my other video up above of the older uh, review of the Radiant Cream Foundation. Clay de Peau, it, although it sounds French, is actually not a French company. It's actually owned by Shiseido. So the, I consider this kind of like their higher luxury, higher end version of Shiseido. And it says here, it's a hybrid of makeup and skincare, exclusive light empowering enhancer amplifies your radiant finish formulated with skin with skin empowering illuminator. So a non-comedogenic and dermatologist tested. And so what we're seeing out of Europe and Asia is more care and reformulations and, uh, and marketing of foundations that have skincare benefits. So we've seen that with Clay de Peau, we're starting to see that with Chanel, but Shiseido and Clay de Peau have been doing that for a while as others. What's really trending now are foundations that have inner light or illuminating properties. I wanted to test this out and just do a video for this and then um, I will be doing a different video of the eye look uh, just because I didn't want to be too long. Some people might be interested in this but not interested in the makeup uh, that I'm doing along this video. The packaging is definitely different. I, they're both tubes and some people were a little fussed about why is it such a small amount? What I can say about this one is that it's very concentrated. So all you need is a very small dot. And so if you use too much of the foundation, like we do normally of regular foundations where you do a pump or two pumps and then it covers the whole face, it's not, it's going to be a <laughs> hot mess. That's not the way we use these foundations. And they're really marketed to be more like skincare. So in a way I can see that you put it on lightly and that's how I'm going to approach this as well because it's not meant to be uh, whacked on with two or three layers, heavy, heavy layers of foundation. So I'm gonna do, oops, squeeze a little bit. 
so we can do a little bit of a swatch test over here. So again, this is the new Radiant Cream Foundation in 040, Ochre 40. And this is definitely more of my winter shade. Okay, now I'm going to swatch the older formula of the Radiant Cream Foundation next to it. And as you can see, that little dollop was really dense. So this is 040 in the old formulation. So interesting. It's the same number. This runs definitely cooler. You can see there's almost a pink undertone compared to my warm neutral olive undertone. So it shows a pinker. This is definitely warmer. So let's see how it dries down. I'm a little worried that it's too warm, but I want to be mad about it because even if it's not spot on, it might be fine for a spring to summer shade. I have the Clay de Peau Beauté Radiant Fluid Natural Foundation in 040. So I'm actually, you do need to shake this up and let's talk about luxury packaging. Uh, to me, this is uh, the version of what Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate did work for me, but this is my equivalent and I love this foundation. Okay, so I'm going to do a dollop of that. So that's probably the same size of I showed of the Radiant Cream and you'll see that it's just not as, you know, it's a little, little bit water, more watery. So that's why you would need more of that type of foundation. And these are super, these Radiant Creams are more creamy and pigmented. Okay, so, you know, it's not an exact match. And then I have my summer shade uh, in the Clay de Peau Radiant Fluid Natural Foundation in BF50. And it just shows you how much I love this foundation. I have it in two different colors because most, most people have a summer and winter shade. I find that really for sure, and I can't speak for all, but I know some content creators who are uh, medium skin or tan like me who have to actually mix or have two different foundations as the seasons change. Okay, so that's BF50. That's definitely more of my winter or my summer shade. So you can see. And you can see that, yes, these are more of the liquidy foundations. That what, that's why even with that same dollop amount, it's very sheer versus these cream foundations. I use pretty much the same little pig, little droplet and look how dense it is. So interesting that these three are both, all three of these are 040, but you can see that they're not the same. Old formula cream foundation, much more undertone of pink. Maybe this one of the Radiant Foundation 040 is more neutral olive. This is running pretty warm. And then the BF50 is BF, I think it's a beige. I can't remember what BF stands for, but it's supposed to be like for beigey warm undertones. So that's why it's my summer shape. So we'll see. I'm a little, <laughs> a little worried about this. So let me spread it around, see what that might look like. And you can see that was one dollop. You can see where it just keeps going. Okay, I'm super excited about that. And the other Clay de Peau product that I thought at least swatched for you is the old formula of the concealer. And I have this older version of the concealer in the shade Buff. So why don't I swatch that for you just so you can have kind of a marker of what that would look like. And I'm filming in natural light. Today is sunny, so I'm taking advantage of the sun. And that's all I did. Okay. And actually, there's a little bit left over, so what I'm going to do is just kind of do that. My skin. I know that's not hygienic. Don't judge. <laughs> it's only me using it. So I'm actually going to take my finger and do some of this. I know some people dab their brush into there. Everyone's different. I guess I don't like to do that because I'm afraid that the brush is going to absorb all the product. Okay. Okay, that was one dollop. 
And what I remember, I think one dollop actually went further on the other formula. So that was one side. And even with one side, I would say this is a light, light to medium coverage. And just know also for context, my face is very hydrated, lots of skin prep. And then I put that primer down, which is very emollient. So, you know, there's going to be so much more slip in this. So if you really, if you have dry skin is what I'm saying is that you might have to put more. And my skin is like super like moisturized. So what I'm going to do is take another dollop of this, another squeeze, little dollop. Okay, so what do we think so far? I am already comparing it already in my head to the other formula. The older formula is much more pigmented, and so I would have to move the product around more. I think this would cover up more, but it also looked a little bit more like I was putting foundation on, but it feels like skincare. This feels really like a skincare, almost like a skin tint. It's super light, but I can see there's like already a natural radiance and glow to it. I definitely think this is more glowy and illuminating than the other formula. And I'm not saying one is better than the other. I actually think this one is pretty glorious. It's, it's like getting a Lexus from last year versus the new version of the Lexus, right? Maybe slightly better, but it's really great in different ways. Maybe I shouldn't have used the version of Alexis. I'm trying to think what kind of cars people like. Uh, okay, not that I have a Tesla. So maybe I got last year's version of Tesla versus this year's version of Tesla. There might be some upgrades in here, but they're both fantastic. So I'm wondering how much of this I can build up without it looking cakey. But I mean, that is one drop, two drop. And that's really pretty so far. Let me get up close so you can see. So I do have some hyperpigmentation here, right? And some here that you can see, um, some scarring here, but it just looks like I'm wearing like a skin tint and my skin, there's, I'm gonna back up so you can, it looks like my skin, it looks beautiful. And what I do like about Clay de Poe, I don't know so much about this. I, I can't speak to the shade range of this, however, the products that they're really selling much more uh, broadly in the UK and the United States, there are so much more shades in here and they've really paid attention to undertones and, uh, and deeper skin tones as well as light. So I know that the shade range of the natural matte and the natural foundation has is much more than this. So you might want to check that out. I'm going, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little bit more of a squeeze again, just to see what it looks like to build it up and spot build it. So usually if I do extra coverage, it's like right around here, some here. What I'm doing is kind of a dabbing technique and not running it to be streaky just because I wanted to melt in more. And I have some acne I'm kind of dealing with up here, so I'll do some spot treatments. It doesn't get rid of imperfections. Like I have some um, texture here from acne. I'm having, I'm trying to clear up some acne milia congestion that's happening down here with masks. 
uh, the rest of my face looks pretty good. It's been, fingers crossed, I've been really clean with my diet lately, so it's been okay. So I still have some of this left over. I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want it to be super cakey. And I'll, I think this foundation is meant to be like a medium, not the full coverage. I do wonder if it could be built up full coverage. But I, for the first impression, I don't want to put too much. Okay, so we'll leave that be. I will finish my makeup and then come back so you can see what this looks like with a finished face. Okay, beauty fam. So I'm back. It's been probably about 30 minutes since I put on this base of foundation. Um, let me put the light on here. So far, it is wearing beautifully. It's definitely a glowy within. It in real life, it looks a little oily, but that's part of the look. I think on the camera, it looks really beautiful. So I have powdered this down with Sisley Loose Powder Foundation. I am trying on some new makeup for a different video. So I'm keeping the makeup video separate from the foundation review video because sometimes I don't want it to get too long. So what I can say so far, and I'll try to check in later on about how this is wearing down through the day, is that it does feel different than the original, well, the older foundation, which is this one. I have to say that it feels lighter like skincare and it's definitely more luminous but in a beautiful way. I almost feel like the older foundation's creamier and a little bit thicker and it does feel like less like skincare. This feels like skincare and my skin looks really healthy with this. And again, it's the cutting hairs. I think both of these make my skin look beautiful. I would say this looks a little bit more foundation-y that when I put it on, I definitely have foundation on. Whereas this kind of fix that I have really awesome natural skin. So I am happy with both of them. I'm gonna put my hair up so you can kind of see more of the foundation. Okay, so I'm filming in natural light and I put some contour to kind of color. It was, in my opinion, it was looking a little bit too light which was interesting because when I swatched it, it actually looked warmer on my hand, but it ended up being okay. I think it's not an exact match, but it's okay. I think, you know, I'm going to show you my decollete here that so you can see that it's a little bit more yellow and warm where this, you know, when it's not an exact color match with makeup and all in all at the end of the day, sometimes it can start to lean gray. I don't know if those of you who have a similar skin tone to me or deeper skin tone, you know what I'm talking about, that we have to be careful about what we're layering on because it gets, it can be lighter, can get more yellow the other way. But what you want, what I don't want to happen is if I keep adding product on that, it that it would get ashy. And I don't think that's the case. I'm just kind of noting that. But why don't I do a check-in later? I think it looks glorious. It's it's a beautiful foundation. I, I would have to say out of my top foundations this past year, Clay de Peau is definitely up there and definitely up there with luxury beauty, my favorite foundation. So this is beautiful. And if you're interested in getting any of these like the older formula or the new one i would say go to the uk sites to look for this bottle don't do what i did would make a mistake basically have two high-end foundations but i'm not mad about it these are beautiful i don't feel as guilty like grabbing this one i actually put it away because you know it's so expensive i didn't want to was hoarding it a little bit like chocolate that i didn't want to eat all of it but these are both beautiful in different ways. And again, it's like splitting hairs. Um, I will be back to check in on how it's doing. Hi, it. beauty fam. So I am finishing up my review of the newly reformulated Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. It is the second day and I didn't get to cop on the camera to give you an update for the end of the day because it was too late. But I did end up wearing this another day which was today and I have to say that it does feel a little different than the original formula. Can't say that I like one over the other so at least what I'm seeing with the difference on these two foundations 
this feels even more like skincare. I don't even feel like I have makeup on and it's even lighter than the original, which is blowing my mind because my skin looks so nice. And I'm going to get up close here so you can see. Um, it is nighttime already, so I do have studio lighting uh, on right now. I think what might be different for the old one versus the new one, I think this older one might have more fuller coverage. I do find that I have to put use more of this for fuller coverage, but the luminosity on the newer one is much prettier. This looks thicker on as well, even though you have to use less, but I don't think it's as illuminating and radiant as the new one, which is beautiful. And if you're interested in this look, it's my Valentine's look, so you might want to check it out, check me out over at Instagram. And so you can see what my skin looks like with still pictures, but also what it looked like fresh at the beginning of the day. I have to say, so I've been wearing this foundation probably a good eight hours already. I don't know if they would claim for this to be long wearing, but I'd have to say that my oils did peek through more with this and maybe because it is a radiant foundation, but I don't mind. I think my skin looked really really pretty and radiant without looking oily, if that makes sense. I want to compare it really quickly to the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Now this is a also um, a, an illuminating kind of radiant foundation, but I'd have to say this, the NARS one is even more luminous than the, the Clay Depo one. So why don't I show you a little bit of how that finishes. So I wear the shade Vanuatu in Vanuatu in M3.5. So this is, again, this is the NARS foundation. And you can see it looks much creamier, much dewier. And here is the new reformulation of the Clay de Peau foundation. And then I use the older Radiant Cream Foundation, the older reformulation. And early in the video, I showed you swatches of the difference of colors, actually. So you can see this is actually a little bit, almost looks a little bit more powdery. Can you see that? So there's more coverage. But in a way, I think the, the color of this is almost off. It's almost like too white or uh, peach compared with my undertone. Can you see that? Whereas uh, this is the old 040. The, these are both 040, but this is the older formula. This is the newer formula for the Radiant Cream. So you can see already, it looks like almost a little bit matter, matter than the new reformulation. Can you see that? It looks much, the new one looks much more glowier. This looks like it's a more of a satin matte. And so you can see, I think the formula in terms of the finish of the new Radiant Cream Foundation for Clay de Peau is more similar to the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And I think it's exciting because I think what goes through my head is that you don't necessarily need this really pricey foundation. I think it's about 129 to get the same effect that this is giving. Now, it's not the same formula. What, what I love about Clay de Peau is actually the skincare and the technology from Japan. So. I think they're both head to head to me in terms of the finish. They're both beautiful. This is probably closest to my actual skin tone. You can see this runs a little bit warmer and it's hard to tell because I'm wearing red today because it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day, but there is a more of a warmth to it, but I'm not mad about it. I think actually I'd rather look a little bit warmer than this. It's almost a hair too light and when it gets a little bit too light it can almost look too ashy or gray now i'm not saying that looks like it i what i how i combat that is through bronzer and contouring it's not a problem what i do what i will reach this for is if i'm having a day where i'm having a lot of redness redness and i want more coverage i will reach for this this doesn't cover as many blemishes so can you can see here 
that's my rosacea that's peeking through the end of the day. So I wouldn't say th this is not, I don't find like this is long, it, this is as long wearing as the original. That's just my experience because I can see that it's starting to wear down. And this is where I usually look. I'm not mad about it again. I think it looks very natural because what I do like about this new formula is that it feels like I'm not even wearing foundation. And I know for those of you who are really picky about foundation, and I know, I know I'm picky, is that I just, with some foundation, I know I'm just resigned to having that feeling like I feel like I'm wearing foundation. When I'm wearing Tom Ford, it does feel like I'm wearing foundation. I just know I'm wearing foundation, or I would say my La Mer. It feels like I'm wearing foundation. But these ones from Clay de Poe particularly, especially this one I'm wearing now, it's probably the lightest and the most skincare feeling foundation out of uh, the line that I have. So I also have the Clay de Poe Radiant Fluid Foundation. I love this. So I definitely feel like I'm wearing foundation with this, but it's not as heavy as the, these two. I would say this does feel like I'm wearing foundation of the old formula, but I'm not mad about it. I'm really enjoying this new reformulation. I, <laughs> if I were to pick one over the other, if you asked me to pick one to edge over, you know, which one would I like, the newer formula or the old one? I'm definitely going to pick the newer one just because hands down, I think it is a better shade match. You can really see already. Let me pull out. You can see there's almost like a pink undertone. And I'm showing you this side because this is the side of my skin that's really my winter shade. This is like the palest I'm going to get. But we're at the end of February, mid-February. From here on out, I'm going to get more tan because we're getting more sun. So by by summer, it's I'm definitely going to be this starting and warmer, golden. I will lose my neutral green undertone and start to get warm as the sun, my melanin kicks in. So I just wanted to use that as reference. So like when I get warmer and deeper, I'm not going to be able to use that. That's going to look, <laughs> that's going to look really weird on my face. Like, um, like wearing a mask, but these, this is, this is really nice. I can see myself traveling with this in the summer. Plus it has SPF 25 on top of additional SPF, SPF I'll be wearing, but I could see myself even just grabbing this and then using it like I, I'm going to try it one more day, but I won't film it. I might put a pinned comment below, but I want to see if I can actually just put this on my fingers and spread it around like skincare because that's what it feels like on my face. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. If anything, it just feels like skincare, which I love. I love that feeling that it's just like a light foundation, but it's almost got, it's got like a really good coverage. In terms of wear time, I would say the NARS La Light Reflecting Foundation has better wear time. So I've worn this foundation much longer between, I would say, 8 to 10 hours. And my face looks beautiful and radiant still and fresh. I don't need to feel like I freshen up. Whereas because of this, it's a little bit, you can see it's like still, so this is dried down already. So you can see it looks a little bit matte, although it's like a satin matte. And then these two... They're still dewy looking, but this is actually drying down more, but this is still dewy. But for at least for my skin, the way it behaves is that because I'm oily, it means like I'm going to look oilier, oilier at the end of the day, and it probably doesn't wear down as much. It's, it's going to wear down faster on my skin. Whereas if you're someone with a dry skin, you're probably going to love this because it's so hydrating. I think you can see the way it's behaving that this is this new clay de Poe found radiant foundation is definitely just um it's wet still like even when i'm touching it it's tacky can you see that it's tacky so it definitely you know whatever your preference is uh for me i would definitely <laughs> powder that down um i would powder this down too it, it, there is some tack to it but it's not as luminous but i just wanted to show that to you because for me this is why i started my channel it's been really hard for me throughout my life to find the right foundation colors and undertone and the struggle's real. I think there's a couple, you know, folks on Instagram, I can see whether they have an olive undertone or if they're warm that it's just always a guess of like, am I going to go olive no undertone warm? And then there's just like a whole thing of like, I know some of us I've talked to folks in the beauty community that sometimes they have to like cocktail, um, cocktail two different colors and I often have to do that and so I get really excited when I found a found, find a foundation where 
it's going to work for me pretty much. So if you're lighter than me or even run a little bit olive, this actually might work for you, the old formula. But if you were olive, I wouldn't get this because it definitely runs warmer. Or if you're my skin tone and run warmer, this might be the one for you because you can see already that's really looking nice. So I'm going to show you here. That's my actual skin. And that's my winter shade that I just thought it would be helpful to you do a comparison because when I've been wear testing this, it really reminds me of the new NARS foundation, which I'm, I'm still loving. Like I'd have to say, I'm going to wear test these more. And it's, right now it's a battle of these two, which is my favorite at this point. I'd have to say clearly this got booted out because it's just more because of the shade. I might wear, I might try this one more time because I don't want to waste it. But since I'm still pretty fair for my skin tone because we're still in winter, I can probably get away with wearing this a couple more weeks till it hits spring. So <clears throat> if that's the case, I'm going to put this one away and then start using this just because it's the lighter one. That's it for my review. I am really excited. I would definitely say that I highly recommend this. If you can pick it up, I would highly recommend this. I I was so disappointed when I ended up buying this and a viewer had told me that, no, you have the old formula. <laughs> so I was really sad because I saw my beauty friend, Deborah, the edit by DH, reviewing this and she was just gushing about how amazing it was. And so I just ended up buying this. I saw it on sale and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't make a mistake buying the new reformulation. And then it, you know, there's always a worry if it's going to be um, not a good fit because it's not returnable. Um, so I'm just so happy this ended up being not only a fit, but even better than the original. So highly recommend this. If you are a person who has aging skin, has dry skin, and you're wanting foundation that has SPF in it and also has great skincare included in it. It reminds me of what maybe Sisley is trying to do. Sisley incorporates wonderful skincare with their makeup generally. And the only reason I don't get Sisley is that foundation is that their shade range for foundations is horrid. It's horrid. I even hear for um, even some light skin folks that even for them, it doesn't work. So I don't know what it is with Sisley that they can't fit. Like the rest of the line is great. I like love their makeup and their skincare, but there's something about they can't figure out the foundation, like the formula or the shade range. It's not only is it limited, I guess I've heard that some people just can't figure out what shade they are. And not only that, I've actually tested some of their products for foundations and it smells. It's just, I don't know if it's perfume they're putting in there or their natural smell. I just don't like the way it smells. So there's definitely no scent in this. So if you're uh, not new, if you're new to my channel, uh, one thing to note is like, I really will be very honest with you if I think it's a no-go. And oftentimes, even if it's beautiful, if it has perfume or a smell in it, I will let you know. And also it's usually a deal breaker for me because I get migraines and I can't handle perfume. I actually do not wear perfume because I'm so sensitive to, to perfume, even natural perfume, like things like vanilla. I can't, I can't handle or stand like added scent. So I'm so happy. This is on, it's hitting all the marks of what I look for a foundation. And I, I was just, so surprised. I'm like, there's no way there's going to be a foundation better than this because this was my favorite foundation. Um, my two favorite foundations from last year were Lisa Eldridge and the Clay de Pope. And I was thinking, there's no way there's anything that's going to knock these out of the contender because last year was amazing for foundation. Well, <laughs> and Entre Nars and Clay de Pope. And if I, if you had to let me pick the, it's these four that are like my top ones. And then here, it's almost like those are the, my A plus foundations. And these are my A foundations. Uh, I love these two, but these are on matte. This, I don't like it for the fact because it has perfume. La Mer is just, it's like Sisley. They just add their scent everywhere. And Chanel too. Like these are the companies like I would wear these more, but it's the scent that drives me away. But if I am having a long day and I need my foundation to like not slide off and stay put. And I'm going to have a 10 hour days when I was going into work and into the city to commute. This is the one ride or die. So Chanel's my ride or die, but because I'm mostly working from home, um, I don't use this as much. So I have the privilege of using some other foundations that 
don't require me to have like a 10 to 12 hour work day slash commute. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment below and comment below like what is your favorite foundation currently or maybe t uh, share below what do you look for in foundation? Like what are your top like two or three things that you look for foundation uh, when you're shopping or figuring out a best fit for you. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate the time that you spend hanging out with me and like hear me geeking out about foundations and makeup. I mean, between eyeshadows and makeup and then lipsticks and then bronzer, I think those are my favorite things. I like a lot of things and skincare. If you haven't done so already, please comment below and like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. And as always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you. And until I see you in the next video, please take good care. Thanks.